Hi, Woe. Just came back from Hawaii? I'm jealous. What island did you go to, man? But hello. Hello. I have family in Hawaii. I want to go. Also, I saw the clips you made last night, Woe, but they were funny. <laughs> The way you title shit is so good. <laughs> oh, you're on Honolulu? Classic. I I think every major island or airliner has to go to Oahu. I've only been to Oahu because that's where I have family in, but I would like to do the other islands at some point. It's 11-11. Make a wish, everybody. Make a wish. I wish... Nah, I won't tell. I won't tell. You went on Hawaiian Airlines? I had a family member who used to work for Hawaiian Airlines. Oh no, shit. They used to work for Aloha Airlines, but then that turned- it closed down. It got bought out by a bigger company. But I usually fly Hawaiian. Like, their food is pretty decent. <laughs> but it's because it has, like, local flavors and snacks sometimes. When was the last time I flew? I think the last time was when I went to Japan, so back in 2018. Shit. Yesterday's stream I had a lot of good clips. I agree. I was farming. <laughs> I was farming. Because last month's comp, I didn't get a lot of clips, so you know, I was like, I gotta be extra. The ube is so good. Yes. Yes. I love ube. Oh my god, one of my the my local frozen yogurt place did an ube flavored yogurt and it was so good. But if you've ever had like the artificial ube like liquid flavoring, they put like way too much in. But it was good. It felt that way. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I was gonna edit yesterday's stream into a video, which I actually did last night. Guys, new YouTube video. I actually did it. Um video in chat, guys. Go like, subscribe. I did it last night. No funny edits, I just trimmed. Because I, ha I had a different video lined up for today to post, but I was like, you know, I should edit the the best of comp first. Um, I'll wait one more minute, one more minute. I don't remember having this many outstanding top clip moments in one stream. Okay, if I'm trying in every stream, I feel like you guys would get bored of it. I'll be honest. Because then it's a bit too fake, you know? Oh, also, I uploaded new sub badges, guys. Ten. Wait, I'll wait 20 more seconds. I'll wait till six minutes up time. Ten, nine, eight, seven. <laughs> okay. Yo, I'm live. Hello, good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Rare subscriber only stream. I actually did it. I didn't lie. Peace and light. Or didn't lie. People did not die. Um, sub only. We're going to do quotes of the Lamb. I know I said throughout the week that I want to try. I will commit to weekly subscriber only streams. I'll do it. I'll do it. But I think from this point on. I want to try and do evening sub-only streams. That way, if I want to do playing with viewers, I can. Because I know most people got school or work. So probably evening sub-only streams starting next week. So probably starting at um, like 2 to 4 PST. So 
Around the time where my normal stream would end is when I'd start the sub only stream. Also, today's fit is crazy. Um, I was gonna I'll do a I'll do a twirl. No, I won't do a twirl. But it's like th this it's this top, right? But it it shows too much here, so I was like, shit, what am I gonna do? So I had to put something on underneath. Because I'm going out with a friend after stream. That's why I streamed earlier today. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. Beating Silk's Cradle all in one stream. I can do it. I can do it. Um, before we get started, you guys know what's up. But just a few gentle reminders if you missed the stream throughout the week. I will be on the M.A. Beefs podcast this Sunday at 5 p.m. PSG. I know the graphic says 7, but she made an exception because my bedtime is 7. <laughs> so she was like, do you want to do it earlier? And I was like, yeah. So everybody, go follow her Twitch channel. It is Twitch. I'll put it in the chat for the VOD watchers too. Twitch.tv slash M.A. Beef. Make sure you are following her Twitch channel because... That way, if it's in follower-only chat, you'll be able to chat and hang out on Sunday. So follow today. Follow right now. It's gonna be a funny stream, okay? So this Sunday at 5 p.m. PST. Um, what else? What else? Also, you guys might have heard it in the Starting Soon stream. But... I have... What is this? A new YouTube video on the main channel? Ain't no way. Everybody, everybody, go sub to the main channel. Please go sub. I'm gonna try and do weekly stream highlights. So if there's any just chatting streams I did, or if there was like one of games I did, I would edit it for a weekly comp. And I'm also gonna upload full playthroughs of games we played on stream. So everybody, go subscribe. Four views in 30 minutes, not bad for a dead channel, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Hi, Titans. Yo. Holy shit. Six views? Oh my god. Holy. <laughs> I, mean, I don't care about views. It's just like anything anything works, you know? Because I haven't uploaded in that, in that channel for five months. So if I get any views, I'll be happy. What else? I think that is all. Let's play some video games, everybody. Now, the last time we played Cult of the Lamb, oh, we beat the Blue World. <laughs> Refreshing to see abuse changes so real. I usually don't do it, but sometimes, because on my YouTube's Clips channel, I do the um, YouTube shorts and then every other day a regular video. So, what I've been noticing in my YouTube studio, because usually, if a YouTube short for me gets more than 500 views in the first hour, then it's gonna bang. It's gonna get, like, through 2 to 3k. But, over the past, like, two weeks, it takes, like, five hours for my videos to hit 500 views. And that's bad. But, usually, if it hits, like, 500 within five hours, then it's gonna get, like, 2k the next day. So, I don't, I don't know. Can you guys hear the ambulance? <laughs> I have my window open because it, it's so hot. It's genuinely so hot outside. I was sweating my ass off on my walk this morning. Okay, I'm also going to be talking loud because I'm playing with headsets for once. I'm a real gamer. Wait, what should I do? Oh yeah, last time I was like, oh, we're going to start off with Sil's Cradle. Audio's all good, thank you. It's, I mean, I just feel like I'm yelling. I feel like I'm yelling. Okay, guys, I got a mute. I got a mute.
Dude, my sister is so fucking chatty today. Oh my god. <laughs> So annoying! She was like, what game are you playing? <sighs> Thank you guys for waiting. She's so... No, she can hear me. <laughs> it's because she likes to use my bathroom. Which is fine, I don't care. But she's usually not this chatty when she gets home. Hi, go Bobo. Welcome in. Now don't don't give her W. She was intentionally being a shithead. Oh, thank you guys for waiting. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, does anybody want to join my cult? Use your channel points. Oh, no, everybody's dying. <laughs> Has she beat Tears of the Kingdom? No, she hasn't saved Zelda yet. Because her strat when she plays any game is to do every single side quest, get most of the collectibles, and then beat the story. So she's not even close. Dude, my villagers are disgusting. They keep shitting everywhere. Man, literally everybody is sick. Okay, chatters, if we do playing with viewers for sub only, do you guys wanna do like Mario Kart, Mario Party? What other games do you guys wanna do? Maybe, uh, I'm on the fence about like Gartic Phone. There's some game modes to where you can have the people playing drawn pictures. We'd, we would just have to like shake hands and agree not to draw like genitalia. Oh. Guys, if Sunday's huh. podcast stream with Emmy Beef goes well, ah. I'm gonna ask if she and I can do like more collabs. Hi, Mac. Can we get some yo's? <laughs> Just got home from work. Easy. Very nice. Oh, I also got my Twitch- Okay, chatters, I got my Twitch payout today, right? It came a day early, because usually payouts process on the 15th, which is tomorrow. So I was like, shoot, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get it till Monday. So, I did re-enable. You have to give subs again? Yeah, now I have to. <laughs> now that I have money. <laughs> so everybody, if you're a non-sub lurking, um, check the bottom- Wait, where, where would it be? Bottom left corner of your chat box, and I can now afford to gift viewers subs again. I'm no longer, um, lying. <laughs> Ooh, gauntlets master. Increase the damage dealt by the gauntlet spin attack. I'll do that. The top is cute. Thank you. It's like a... It's a... <laughs> this is like a... How would you say it? Uh, the, this is like a spaghetti strap top. And I- okay, I didn't feel like farming today, okay? <laughs> so I have like this- it's a- it's like a lace... It, it's a bralette, but not really. I got it from Torrid, like, years ago. Surprisingly, it still fits. But like, I had to wear something under this. That's a vibe though. I know, I- I, I never worn this for stream because it's kind of warm. But it's surprisingly breathable. Oh, I can't do brainwashing. Okay, I don't have a lot of bones. Anyway, I feel like the, the lace matches Colton Lamb. Like, if I had some, like, jewels, it'd go crazy. 
Yeah, so anyway, guys, um, I can afford to give viewers subs now. I still owe chat too, too, from past Marikot streams. So, if we have any viewers next week who are non-subs that randomly chat, they'll get a sub for free. <laughs> usually whenever I get money, I don't spend it right away, but now that... Now, now they get... Now that I get, like, a little bit for my plasma donations, I'm like, ooh, I can afford to, like, get a soda pop or an ice cream. <gasps> oh, no! Nachul has died! Peace, I 27 So this morning, I got an email saying, oh, your payment got processed. I was like, ooh, I can go to Taco Bell today. <laughs> And it's been a while since I've had, um, Taco Bell breakfast, but it still hits. It's still so good. You're getting Taco Bell right now? Eat, see you. I wish they offered breakfast all day. I would have gotten Wendy's, but my local Wendy's doesn't open their lobby for breakfast until like 9.30. And that's way too late for breakfast. Okay, I'm stalling. Breakfast hurts my stomach. Maybe you're just allergic to eggs. <laughs> my goal today is to beat all of Silk's cradle. I assume there is going to be a boss fight after you beat all the DLCs. No spoilers. But that is my goal. I'm trying to find a good melee. Okay, the only melees I have are projectiles, which is what I want. But I want a high level one, which they're all level two. Oh, because I have plans at... I have a three or four. Because I'm hanging out with a friend later. How are people still sick? Nobody's sick. Okay, there must be like shit on the ground. The food demons in Taco Bell. <laughs> you know, you know the cliche of like shitting your brains out after having Taco Bell? I've never had that happen. Oh, I should I should bury this guy. I, I totally forgot. Oopsie. <laughs> anyway, I've never like had any problems. Pro controller today, so hopefully I play a bit better. Oh, this was the oh, it had 80 faith. I didn't read how much faith it had. Oopsie. The number one is haunting you, Wolf. Or maybe it's your lucky number. Look at the two. <laughs> oh. He doesn't have a follower for sale. Emotion, the way your kind are. Though if I were, Hecate would certainly inspire amusement. She was perhaps the most vicious of them, wicked beast. 
I guess we're gonna grind followers, everybody. I had 20, but then everybody died. Oh, wait, I can do the resurrection ritual. Shoot, I'll have to do that again when I get back. Damn it, I thought I had enough. Oh, well. Damageless run incoming, everybody. Okay, it it's already over. Is Jover. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> I would have lost. Also, I gotta get used to playing with the Pro Controller again because the buttons are bigger, so like my fingers have to travel slightly more distance. is this more damage during the day or receive double the health when healing. Double heal, easy. Persons consume 25% less fervor or drop black ichor when you roll. I'll do black ichor. Because ultimately, for these runs, since I'm only getting followers, I can always teleport back home whenever I gain a follower. Like, I don't need to do a whole crusade run. and all active enemies. That sounds very nice. Who doesn't like poison? Oh, okay, okay. I was like, I don't want to go to the right path because there's a combat room, but I can just get resources, follower, and then dip. Uno? I need to buy Uno for the Switch. Because I remember saying I wanted to do Uno with viewers like months ago, like a year ago at this point. Fuck! I mean, frick. I hate these little green guys. They're so hard to protect where they move. <laughs> Easy. The only 
problem with playing a game like Uno on stream is that you guys would be able to see my cards. Okay, I'm going back home. Plus one follower. Like, I could hide my cards, but then it wouldn't make it as enjoyable for the, like, people who aren't viewing, who aren't playing. So, I guess we would just have to do whoever is playing the game of Uno. We just have to have faith and trust that they have audio only stream. But honestly, I think it'd be kind of funny is if everybody just saw my screen anyway, and then they would just intentionally get me. And if I still won, I think that'd be like epic. Does anyone want to join my cult? Smile. Any sacrificers? <gasps> oh wait, the reason why I don't have enough followers is because I didn't let them join. Do you think our chat has integrity? Yeah. I like to think you guys are wholesome. Okay, I should have enough people in queue here. Oh, it's an old man. May peace be in everyone. Oh, yeah, I got enough for sure. Oh, my God, I have so many. Palomar. What is this? Shimura heckin' Leshy, I feel... Ugh. You get to stay here forever, Calamar. <laughs> I want to make him live forever. Okay, there's an immortal skull necklace, but I don't want to give it to just any... I want to give it to, like, the final, final boss, which I assume there's going to be. So let's give him the skull necklace to make it live twice as long. when they have to pay taxes. I knew you could do it, you truly are divine! Thank you, loyal follower. Resurrect somebody and then do the brainwashing because I need more followers long term. Who shall we bring back to life? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna bring back the highest level. <laughs> Just they're they're dead. <laughs> okay, I think the highest I saw was level five. 
I do think it's sad how once you sacrifice a follower to the gate, they're gone forever. What are my thoughts on the music from the new wave? I like the music from Koopa Cape. I do feel like a lot of the music was fun. I'd have to like actually sit and listen to it because whenever I stream, I usually don't play with headphones on, right? So I usually just listen to the TV audio. So when I was editing yesterday's stream, I was able to hear the music a lot better. And it was actually quite enjoyable. I forgot to do the mushrooms. I mean, brainwashing, not shrooms. Twitch dev. <laughs> Silk's Cradle. Stream ends when I beat Silk's Cradle. No joke. I think the city tracks in Mario Kart are most interesting, like, landscape-wise and background-wise. But I feel like the Canada one, or the Vancouver, whatever the fuck, was kind of boring, not gonna lie. Now we can finally enter Silk's Cradle. Uh, 30 minutes in, everybody. I, I was just stalling. Also, if you want to join the cult, use your channel points and I will make a ch uh, character in your honor. I almost said channel. <laughs> I knew this shit would happen. God fuck. I knew this would happen. We need a level 10. Red. Because Kobobo is my highest, and they're level 8. Okay, well, I guess for now, all that I can really do is do crusades. That way I can get presents. And then level up Kobobo faster. So it's probably gonna take like five days in game in order to get Kobobo leveled up enough. God. I got your baited. It literally said last time that I only needed 20 followers. I'm kind of sad, Mario Kart waves are coming to a close. I know. I know. Because it's, like, exciting to get new content gradually, in my opinion. It's been a while since I've gotten an axe. You know what I always say. 
Rat is rat. Gain an extra two hearts. Very nice. Oh, I get them both. Never mind. Soul Snatcher. When killing an enemy, 10% chance of healing. Oh, yeah. I didn't like... I like the... Like, Athens was my favorite, like... Line-wise. But... Oh, I feel like Athens visually was ugly. I got two people with the eggs. Damn. Actually done damage list. Wait. Should we do predictions for damage list runs? <laughs> I think that'd be hilarious. Because genuinely, I feel like the chances of me getting damage list is like one in a million. Like, not even joking. But this, the heart attack for the axe is really good. Since it's been upgraded. Because it swings for a bit longer. I'm gonna genuinely try for damage list. When hit down to half a heart, all enemies will be dealt two damage or overall weapon damage increased by 1.2. I'll do 1.2. Just so I can get through the rooms quicker. Harvest bonus resources or 20% more damage during the day. I'll do more damage, why not? Double dipping. Dude, so many tarot cards already. Whoever replenishes fully when entering a new combat room. Okay, so right now I need to focus on getting presents. So I think this guy has goodies. Because they usually have a follower form, a decoration. Oh yeah, goodie. Small gift. How about we start doing predictions for damage list if I actually get one one time? Ooh, should I go in here? Insane. Oh, because I haven't taken a hit. My damage boost is 115. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am correct. <laughs> I mean, but I actually should, like, start trying to play good. Especially with the yellow cloak, because I, I do get incentivized to not take damage. <laughs> Oh no, it's it's Jobert. Oh, there's too much. Okay, they're both broken. Also, 
Also, the range on the axe when it's this upgraded is really good. You see, like, I'm not even, like, getting right up on the enemies. Come here. Don't be a wimp. Come here. Exorcist's fingers summon a demon to assist in battle. Will it summon one of my chatters? <laughs> When hit down to half a heart, all enemies will be dealt 3 damage or attack rate increased by 1.25. I feel like increasing the attack rate is only really worth it if you have a hammer, because the, like, attack rate is the time in which it takes the animation for when you press and then it actually hits. So I'm gonna try this. Death's Door Plus. Okay, I let me pause real quick. I've noticed since I've been like actually trying, I'm not just like running into fights. I'm like trying to dodge more instead of rolling away. I've noticed that I'm just like walking away because I feel like I depend too much on roll dodging. And whenever you dodge roll too much, I feel like it's very sporadic. So maybe this is the strat, like taking it slow and steady. I know this is still easy mode, but I need to focus more on this method of playing. Because if there is a final boss fight at the very end, I need to, like, try hard. Okay, the sword is minus five damage. I like the ice ones because it does freeze everybody. Let's see. Oh, this one's a melee attack. I don't remember if for the ice shed one, if it was like only one beam or if it was like four beams. I think the melee attack, because they both have the freeze ability, I think I'll keep the melee attack one. Because for me, that one is personally easier to control. Watch this be a boss fight. The lingering presence of Leshy can be felt. Higher chance of encountering special enemies. Cool, nice. I love that. That is so cool. doing so I don't like any of these it's always the projectiles I didn't know the caterpillar was gonna spawn projectiles or I knew but I didn't realize in time okay from this point on no damage done
Okay, boss room. Let's do prediction. Beat the boss. Guys, go Gambit. How about from this point on? We'll do predictions. Will I take damage? Up until the boss room. And if I get to the boss room, we'll do predictions. Will I beat the boss? I think that'd be interesting. Because, like, in most of the boss fights, I don't think there's been... Witness- Oh, fuck you! That was bullshit, sucker punching me! Oh my god! This is the different version, we haven't played this one yet. Wait, summon a demon! I'm on a demon! Oh, wow, I thought it was like an actual demon, not one of my little silly villagers. Okay, this guy's dumb. Okay, I have decent damage on Agnes. For Agoras. For that whole run, only one and a half damage? That is... Monumental for me. I never do this good. I definitely think the axe... Is the best weapon. Because the heavy attack has decent range. Did a lot of damage, even if I hit it. Even if I hit the person, they usually just one KO'd. Ten minute run? Oh my god. Did I beat the boss? Yes, sir. So right now, I need to focusing on just leveling up Kobobo to level 10. And of course, I just sacrificed my lowest, my, my low, most loyal follower. Oh, I have no gifts. Oh. This is gonna take a while. Oh. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna take like five days in game, which isn't crazy, but not ideal. Oh. Why is nobody playing? You guys have one job to do. Yes, get back to it. Keep praying. Oh, I was gonna say, maybe I can bring somebody back, but I don't have enough bones, I think. Also, I just did that ritual, so I won't be able to. <laughs> 75% chance of the follower dying instantly. Why would you do this one?
now let's get ready for another run. I wish when you turn people into demons, they gained faith when they fight alongside you. I think that'd be a cool mechanic. So that way you can like gradually level up some of the different followers. Because the only way to level up followers is if to you give them gifts or if you talk to them every day. But talking to everybody every day is kind of boring. I think for now I'm just gonna keep going into Darkwood because it's one of the easier ones and since it's easier I'll be able to like get items quicker okay we're doing predictions like I said earlier do you think I'll have a damageless run up until the boss room Everybody go Gamba? Do you think I could do it? I got very close last time. I got, like, so close. Also, I think Darkwood is one of the worlds that has, like, the least amount of projectile-based enemies. Ooh, one gauntlet! And if I do actually get a damage this run, then everybody has to sub with Prime. That's the deal. for a second I think I have to because usually when I play I like glance down but I need to stop looking at resources or reveal the map. Always do bonus resources. Revealing the map is dumb. Okay, drop like equal when you roll or environmental traps cause no damage. This one, I don't think I've ever seen this card. This one is great. Because the thing that trips me up the most are projectiles, but also the environmental like spikes get me sometimes. So this one... <laughs> Doubters in shambles. this room but I still got through it and like I still have full health <laughs>
Dude, I feel like a real gamer. This is the one time where I'm not a personality streamer, guys. Okay, right now I'm focusing on presents. So I'll go here. Why are you saying gauge? You're gonna have to change your about page? <laughs> Wait, is that what I say on my about page? Do I say that I'm a personality streamer? Oh no. Oh no. Because people say, ooh, I'm a personality streamer when they're bad at games. So that's your scapegoat. Okay, I'm not going for the follower room because I already have a good handful of followers. You know what the deal was? If I genuinely get a damage loss run, then everybody has to sub with Prime. Or Tier 1. Oh, you mean, yeah, come for mid-tier gameplay, stay for a high-tier comedy. <laughs> I think it's such a good bio. I think it's so funny. I've had that bio my whole Twitch career. I haven't changed it because I think it's hilarious. And it's also true. Because I'm funny, right? Um, type one. If I don't see any ones, I'm never streaming again. And I'm not lying. I took a hit. You made me drop my controller. I almost dropped mine too. I was so mad. Damn it. I, it's the same spot as last time. The first room into the final section. Dang it. Oh, like it's not gonna do any damage. Oh, fuck you, man. I was showing that the spikes won't hurt me. So close. Reveal the map or receive double the health when healing. I'll do double health. Fight is here. Okay, new prediction. Do you think I will beat the boss? First try. It was so close. Oh, is this gauntlet stronger? Because I think... Okay, weak at first, but devastating on a complete combo. No. For, for this playstyle of not spamming, the combo with the gauntlet is not helpful. I'm gonna keep the one I have. Okay, first try, easy. Valopar version 2. Oh, I hate this one. What is my curse? What is my curse? Oh, my curse is ass. Oh, wait, it poisons? Okay. Okay, this is insane. This is insanity. He's dead. I killed him. Easy.
Okay, I'll take a moon necklace. Thank you, thank you. I am a god gamer. Hopefully I have enough little presents to level up Kobobo so we can kill, I mean, sacrifice them. Damn, seven minute run. Not bad. Oh, I think it's because I, I only had two combat rooms on that attempt. Does anyone want to join my cult? Okay, where's Cool Bobo at? Thank you for redeeming Matt. Ha, there you are. Oh, it's a big gift. That's fine. Do a little dance for me. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds so... That's, that's not what I meant. You guys know that's not what I meant. There's a meal that, that makes them happy. That increases their faith. Ooh, yeah, have have all these. Have all these. Okay. I'm gonna remove these from Q and then craft them myself, that way I can make Kobobo eat it. Oh no guys, this is not for you! No! No, stop! sermon the faith increases the scobobo only has like a millimeter left in their faith bar leveled up. Oh yeah, you are. Okay, good. Saved. I'm no longer upset. See, level 9. So close. Shalom, Bakka. Oh. 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 
of a cupcake. Very nice. Bitch. I will waste a big gift on you just so I can kill you. I mean, sacrifice you. I mean, sacrificing does entail killing in game. In game. And now you're level 10. <laughs> happening now that I'm back home. Oh. So much work to do in the homestead. that I'm grinding in Darkwood anyway, that way I get more flowers. That way I can heal everybody when they get sick. Go open that door. Everybody, peace. I two seven Kobobo. Thank you for being a loyal member. But your time has come. Oh, oh they're so happy. Oh. I'm in. Okay, so I opened the door. I need to go back and get demons. Because I wasn't sure if it was going to, like, make me go in right away. Okay, let's indoctrinate Mac because they redeem. Let's see if you have a good demon power. Is correct already, and I like how you got so many scars. Shows that you lived your life. Oh. No, of course we're gonna make you pray. Night is so calm.
you know, I have yet to see what Silk's Cradle looks like in the DLC. Y'all know, there's usually slightly more different enemy types. Everything will be a bit more difficult. So do you think I will have a damageless run up until the boss fight? Everybody- Oh no, Aaron has died. Don't matter. I still have 20 followers. <laughs> what is one follower gone? <laughs> oh, there's 11 rooms. Usually it's 8 rooms. Oh, no. See, look here. The silence during the loading screens is always so creepy. Like, you expect music to play. But it doesn't. Dude, the music? Slain, purged, or simply forgotten. A crown's eye closed in slumber, or perchance in waiting. The pinch of spore not blasted, what great power hath lain dormant in anticipation of this very moment? Enemies in Silk Cradle are feeling strong. Oh, is it? In my DUM, there's no apostrophe S. Lamau. Mod changed the title. I hate hammers. Maybe the playstyle that I'm trying to develop now will be better for hammers. good for the spiders though you're not too bad I don't like the spider with the projectiles, though. That's not cool. Oh! It's damaging the other enemies. Interesting. Okay, Laplace's dies. 50% chance to heal a heart or 50% chance to get a spirit heart. I'll take it. I love gambling. Gain an extra heart or enemies will drop two times more fervor. I'll take a heart. Gain an extra half a heart or fire projectile when you swing your weapon. 10 second cooldown. I don't think the projectile will be that much of help with the hammer because that um, projectile is only really good if you have like a sword or a dagger that does minimal damage. 
That way, whenever it does shoot a projectile, you essentially do double damage with one hit. So I think since I have the hammer, I will take the heart. Oh no, Mac has died! But you just joined! Sad. Peace I do seven, Mac. Ooh, a healing room. But I have full health. So I just gotta remember to come back here. This remix version of the music sounds a lot more chill than the original. Oh no. Get me out of here. Get me out. Shimura. Bond forged by the spilling of blood. I know you hear me, god of death. Ignoro. Ignoble. Wait. Ignoble lamb, finish what you've begun. Oh, bro. Oh, come on! Sucker punches. Oh, oh no. a lot. I, th I think I did decent. I think that was like a B rank. Oh, wait, I think... I can, can I go back? Oh, okay. There was two hearts. I forgot. I think the most difficult part about those type of rooms is that they're very small. So it's very hard to dodge. Oh, my dice is ready. I love gambling. Here, take this. Fuck you. Right now, I'm just focusing on the shortest path. And least combat path. So it seems like here, right? Right it. Okay, I got it. Minimal combat path.
I got three gifts, very nice. that freeze enemies on contact. I'll try it. I'll try this one. Let's see what the crown is. Everybody pray. Your possessions will follow you through death. So it doesn't matter if I live or die. It is all the same. Can I destroy it? No. Gain a diseased heart or a blue heart. I'll take a blue. Wait, offerings are $70 now? What is this inflation? That's only supposed to happen in reality. Okay, overall weapon damage increased by 1.5 or environmental traps cause no damage. I'm gonna do environmental traps because since the hammer does an, an extreme amount of damage, it doesn't matter if it's increased at all. They're scamming you? I know! They must have heard that I'm rich in-game. Or maybe they heard that I have two phones and two laptops. No! I have yet to see this. Come with me. Ah. Okay, I think the only reason why that was a bit easier is because my hammer did a lot of damage. But kind of well, just to give me a whole ass boss fight in the middle. Okay, the boss room is right there. You're mad, Richie. Yeah, now that I'm donating my literal body fluids, I'm bummed.
I'm gonna switch to an axe. Because I feel like the hammers are very difficult in final fights. Yes, they do get them done quicker, but I need to practice my strat of dodging and like tryharding and not just spamming a weapon. That's well though. All I can think about whenever I do donate the plasma is if if the company can pay the people who donate forty to one hundred dollars, depending on the clinic, like how much money are they making off of it? Like just to process it and shit. Can I donate my leg hands? You never told us that you have extra appendages, Mac. Okay, wait. Final boss room. Plasma industry booming? I think the only reason why they charge that much is because it's like a scarce resource, right? Because similar to blood donations, it's all voluntary, but I feel like since donating blood is more commonly well known, like I didn't know about donating plasma until like a year ago. I can say the F word? No, you can't. I'm gonna make the F word a block term. I'm doing it. F word is now, like the phrase F space word is a block term now. <laughs> okay, boss fight, do you think I'll beat it? the wrong way ah uh, it would it would have been hard to beat though like I knew what I had to do ah, shit. It, if I had like two more hearts I could have done it because I figured I figured out the pattern I didn't know what I had to do in the first L of the day sad pathetic We'll get him next time. I think it's also partially because I don't remember the patterns from like the initial versions of the final bosses. Like if I would've... Like if they had the DLC versions like very close to the initial release of the game, then I think I would remember more. But you know what, that's fine. Oh my god, so many people are dead. more of those actually because that's adorable excuse me leader I just wanted to say that I love you thank you 
used to hate me. But honestly, I love the friends to lovers arc. It's so good. Okay, I gotta get- I guess I gotta get to work on leveling up my next highest follower. Damn, everybody's super low level. That is very bad. Let's do Najul, because I don't care about Najul. They're mid. Just them line the ground is so funny to me. Okay, there's a level four. Another level four. Everybody, welcome back, Kim, back to the cold. It's not Pride Month anymore. Well, I feel like you guys would riot if I disabled it, so I decided to keep it. Also, the e-boat is cute! Let's get out of here. Oh, we have so many old people. This is bad.
Okay, I'm gonna build more stone... Mills? Not mills. Stone things, and then we'll do the run. Gonna make everybody go to work when I'm gone. No more paid vacation. Also, my cult is anti union. <laughs> okay, the Actors Guild going on strike two is insane. Like, when I heard the news yesterday, oh my god, that is so powerful. You know, like, two massive unions within the same industry, um, picketed strike, that is so powerful. Oh, I'm excited to see what happens. Okay, you guys know the drill. Do you think I will take damage? Go gamble. Surely I can do it. A poison axe, my favorite. One blue heart or drop black Igor when you roll. I'll take a blue heart. Because if I get the same boss at the end again, I'm gonna have to tank a lot. Dead enemy bodies explode, damaging other enemies, or deals poison damage to enemies struck. So the weapon that I have now has a chance to deal poison. And honestly, um, whenever the bodies explode, I think it also damages me, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna do guaranteed poison damage. 
Finatre has died. Oh no, everybody. Peace I 2 7 Finatre. I have no clue who you were. But you were, were important to my cult. Guaranteed poison damage was the right choice. Okay, Fervor replenishes fully when entering a new combat room. Seriously. I think he's blind. OV. Oh, there's a lot of pads. Okay, since I'm going for gifts, I'm gonna go to the far right path. Films and such have paused. Yeah, it's good. I think it's because big corporations don't realize the impact that the actual individual workers have. That's why unions will always be good because it demonstrates how powerful they are as a different collective. <laughs> Thank goodness Barbie finished before. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I do wonder how long it'll last. Because a good point that, like, obviously it's a talking point I've heard from his song, but the way that the media covers strikes, they're always like, oh, it's the workers that could end this. When in reality, it's the corporations who aren't willing to bargain fairly. Easy.
Okay, Laplace's dice. 50% chance to heal a heart or 50% chance to get a spirit heart. They literally have no options left yet. I feel like more often than not, unions do not need to strike. That's why striking is a last resort. Because striking affects the consumers, but primarily profit margins and the higher-up executives. And those are the only ones who can make the decisions in actuality. Um, like, Peace in 17, um, Incorporated will allow unions. You just- you cannot go on strike, though. <laughs> okay, a diseased heart or 20% more damage during the day. I'll take more damage since I have an axe. But also, if the companies gave the employees, like, reasonable work conditions or reasonable wages, then there would be no need to strike. That's what a lot of people fail to realize, too. Like, if employees were just treated properly, then there would be no trouble. When hitting an enemy, 10% chance of healing. I don't want either of these. I don't like the invincibility curse. I think it's kind of DUM. full health let's get a relic since I have full health already <laughs> eye of the fervent an orbiting eye that mimics any curses cast that's interesting I wanna try it. Ty Ty is died, not Ty Ty. He's I two seven Ty Ty. These axes are kind of scary. Oh, you can see through them? Okay. Kind of weird. Come on, come over here. <laughs> Take that! I don't 
don't remember. I don't think I did. Eye of the Slither. Orbiting eyes that poison enemies on contact. No, I want to keep the one that I have. I mean, even if I did take damage... Oh yeah, I did take damage. Look, my damage boost is only at 50. If I didn't, then it would be at like 200. Did I take damage? Yes, I did. Sorry, I didn't even realize I took a hit. When? Oopsie. Or maybe I took a hit and then just got insta-healed. Eh, whatever, I'm not mad. Unless... Oh my god! Okay, fuck this. The only issue is once I start taking damage, I become a lot more careless. <laughs> see? See? I'll do the ice pillars. I feel like I need to freeze them. Yeah, because the curse I had was knocked back and poisonous enemies, but I already have a poison damage on my axe. Okay, when hit down to half a heart, all enemies will be dealt to damage. Y'all know what time it is. Do you think I'll beat the boss on this attempt? It might be the same one, it might be a different one. But go gamble? I mean, gamble. Do you think I'll beat the boss? Oh, look, it actually froze him a little bit. It's not bad. Okay, stop! I'm taking! Dude, half a heart. That was reckless. But I just wanted it. I wanted to get it over with. Did I beat it? Yes, sir. Less than a minute, too. Dude, my ass is beaten. And not in the fun way. <laughs> okay, one done. Maybe if I truly speedrun, I can get all four done in an hour. Because the average run is like 15 minutes. I could do it. Because my goal was to do three hours today. Channel points.
I do really want to get into like cookie decorating or cupcake decorating, like for real. But that is not a hobby I can physically afford to do. <laughs> Glorious leader! Some elders have been cast from their cult and now seek a place to enjoy their final years. Maybe we should let them join ours? Yeah, why not? I love old people. You know what I'll do? I'll just raise the retirement age. <laughs> I'm kidding! Oh. oh, this person is dead dead. I should save my game. That's a glitch. Oh no. I'm in the void. This is like the opposite of the Harry Potter movie ending. Okay, I lived. That was weird. I must have just clipped through the wall. Because I was able to roam as much as I went outside. Guys, rare cool to the lamb glitch. Speedrunners, write it down. Screenshot. Oh my god, we have so many old people. They should just, um, die already. The food? Oh, this Mac. Lamau. <laughs> Y'all look the same.
Okay, time for another run. I do want to try one of these purgatory runs. attempt at the second boss within Silk's Cradle. Everybody go Gamba. Do you think I'll get damage list this attempt? Maybe. I I've yet to get a damage list in Silk Cradle. But maybe I can do it. I got kind of close last time. Like, very close. Finally, a sword. <laughs> the first enemy. Hilarious. Okay, yeah, the sword only does three damage. That is gonna be not helpful. I still think my ideal weapon is the axe. Especially after the heavy attack upgrade. It's perfect! Oh yeah, this does, like, no damage! Actually, I decided I hate swords. Atheriles Powder Box. Use a random relic. Take it. Also, it shows a little icon. I assume that's the relic that'll spawn. Decrease in size. I don't want to be any shorter. Yeah, but Kimara, we're gonna start doing weekly sub-only streams on Fridays. And starting next week, there'll be our, there will be more playing reviews. 
I kind of want to just bail on this run, honestly. Oh, I used my curse. <laughs> oh, mega low. Yeah, this run is bad. The sword is so bad. I'm bad. Yeah, I'm gonna teleport home. I'm quitting. I'm a quitter. My mom took in the mail and didn't realize the letter was for me. You got the cards? That's... That's great. I am... S that's a relief. Uh, for context chatters, I literally mailed Kobobo all 10 of their portrait cards in one letter. And it's been over a month, so we're like, oh, it's gone. Take the L. And then Kobobo was so nice. I was like, I will I will make the cards again. I will give you money or I will give you a gift card to my website. And Kobobo was like, no, I'm a Giga Chad. It's fine. That's good. I'm glad you got the cards. I'm really glad. Feel free to post them online. Just tag me. I, oh, that is such a relief. Oh my god. Because, like, I was upset. Like, I was genuinely upset. <laughs> that is... That is... That is so good. Dude, L mom, honestly. <laughs> hey. Nah, but there's been a few times where my parents have, like, ac accidentally kept my mail. And there's been one time where, like, my dad, he opened my mail by accident, and it was, like, my, my W-2s one year. And then he just kept it. <laughs> and I went to my employer, and I was like, hey, I never got my W-2 in the mail. And they were like, what? So they were super, like, mad at me for no reason. And then I found my W-2, like, so three months after taxes were due, like my dad was like, "Oh yeah, I had it this whole time." <laughs> so why would you not give it to me? accidentally open someone else's mail I'm like I might have opened my sister's one time I don't think I did there was one time where like I got the mail and like one of our envelopes was like ripped open and I was like uh oh but thankfully the contents were still inside cause like our mailbox it's like it has a key so somebody broke in I can't do brainwashing, unfortunately. I do have 200 bones. <laughs> Me 
need during next month's subathon? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I do need to plan out what I'm gonna do for it, cause last year we did a subathon for my one year anniversary streaming, so August 2nd. So we're also gonna do that this year. One thing we did for last year's subathon was to try to get all the green stars in Super Mario 3D World. And I still haven't done that. And it's been almost a year. Because I, I want to get them all so I can try that final level. The cards look good. Thank you. I think it's kind of funny because I bet when you see the cards in person you can see like how messy it is. Like the line work isn't as clean. But you know what? It's fine. It's it's harder to work small. Oh, that's so cute. I'm glad she liked him. I still think my favorite card that I've made of you, Kobobo, was the one that's your PFP. I think that one genuinely is so good. I'm really glad you got them though. It was so sad. Because it's not that I'm a control freak, it's just like things really bother me if I don't have control over it. Because like, the way that I rationalize things, I'm like, okay, if I did something wrong, then I did it, okay? And if somebody else did something wrong, then they did it. I can get over it. But if it's like, shit that I can't control, it almost feels like random RNG, which makes me so mad. I'm just like, because to me, luck can happen to anybody, both bad and good. So it's like, why all the bad luck happened to me? It's like, come on, what have I done? Hey, Coco, but it can be like a, <laughs> you know how they have like campaigns where it's like Christmas and summer. This could be your um, summer Christmas miracle. <laughs> Wait, but Coco, imagine, imagine you were like, hey, peace, and give me that um, store credit. <laughs> and then you get the cards, and then you're like, actually, I'm gonna keep the gift card too. <laughs> no, I would let, like, I thought about it, and just in general, if you're a business, I feel like if any customer requests a refund, I feel like they should give it. And if somebody wants, like, a replacement of a product, like, if the product was bad, I feel like they should gladly offer a replacement. Because I understand that the customer being always right is, like, kind of icky at times, but if one customer has a good experience, they're probably going to talk to at least five people about it. And when you're small, like, word of mouth is very important until you build that brand recognition. So... I feel like not saying that you should lie no, and when I say you I mean in general I feel like you should not obviously try to scam companies try to, to try and get refunds because I feel like people would exploit that but even if you're mailing out a new product like let's say you bought like an air fryer and it's busted 
Like, them mailing you a new air fryer is minuscule when compared to their larger profit margins. Like, I assume... Okay, I don't know what the actual, like, margins of error are in a company, but I assume they should... Oh, I didn't mean to click on you. Oopsie. Well, welcome in, Nana. I feel like any business, you should account for, like, maybe, let's say... Maybe max 5% of your transactions having an issue. So you should account for at least 5% of your inventory or product being lost. And also overcompensating for that. So if you, if you have to order 100 units, you should assume that like 5 to 10 will get lost. So you should order like 120. Give me one. I don't know. It's just my opinion. Because I, I feel like negative reactions garner so much more attention. So... <sighs> If you don't accommodate somebody who had a bad experience with your establishment or company, I feel like that's going to lead to so much more impact than somebody having a good interaction. Like, I know... Like, let's say I mail out a painting and then it gets busted in the mail. That would be a bummer. Because, you know, I wrap them in plastic, I put cardboard inserts, but still it could get ruined. You know, it happens. Like... If that ever did, I know Max got a bit busted, but thankfully the painting was fine. Because it had thicker packaging. Um, Because I paid for thicker cardboards for like the actual box. So, even if it got busted in transit, that's not my fault. But, what is cool, if you... Most um, postal companies will offer insurance, so I ship through USPS. Which is like the government postal service. And they will... Depending on what type of um, service you use. I, I use per Priority Mail. Which is like their flat rate program. Um, they will pay for free. Up to $100 insured on your product. Or whatever you mail. But since the paintings are over 100 I only need to pay like up to like $5 more in insurance. And then they'll just give me a full refund. Of the, like, the cost of whatever I mailed. So let's say I mailed out a $300 painting, but I had paid for full insurance. They would give me back $300 in full. I would just have to prove that the box got busted. <laughs> um. Which, yeah, USPS can kind of be a stinker whenever you do request a insurance, but still... But even then, at this point, for the paintings, a lot of the cost is my time, so... Because material, yes, can be costly, but the main thing is time. Like, I'm not gonna leak what the actual cost per unit is, because, uh... <laughs> I don't want to leak too much. But TLDR, the cost of my labor is... Far more in comparison to the cost of raw material. Which is how most service-based industry is. Like, if you look at fast food, the reason why... Like, the food cost is very low, but fast food is getting more and more expensive because labor costs are going up. Which is good. We love that the minimum wage is increasing and that some fast food is offering competitive wages. But anyway, so me having to remail out a painting is a bummer. But if it, if it ever does happen, I would have units- I would have extra units made. And like I said, the only main cost would be my time, which I have a lot of time. Um, harvest bonus resources or forever replenishes fully when entering a new combat room. I'll do bonus resources. Man, offerings are still 70. Scam. Dead bodies explode, damaging other enemies or 20% of damage during the day. I'll do more damage during the day because exploding bodies hurt me. Still, the are if you're a company or if you're gonna be a business owner, offer refunds. It doesn't fucking matter. It's better to, for you to for your customer to have a somewhat positive experience after they had a bad one. Obviously, they're being like a bitch. Like. I would say still give them the refund, but just try to be civil. Oh, 
also, it's different if the person is, like, lying to try and get a refund. Hi, Emmy. Hello. Can we get some yo's? Wait, did I do a prediction? Oh shit, I already took damage. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be on Emmy Beef's podcast on Sunday. Wait, I have a big business meeting with Emmy later. I didn't forget. <laughs> I I promise. No, I didn't. <laughs> I just remembered at like noon. See? Um, it's not just me. No, I, I genuinely did not forget. Oh no, Fimer has died. Peace I do seven Fimer. Yeah, but Emmy, I think you work today, right? All I do is stream. That's my job. I'm talking about work. Everybody, new YouTube video. Go subscribe and like it, please. If you don't, I'm gonna get really mad. You work until 3.30? Oh, you'll get home in time, though. Okay. Okay. Wait, Emmy. I got new sub badges. So since you're a 17-month sub, you should have a... a rose badge. But you have a founder's badge. Which is honestly more of a flex, but I think you can swap out the founders for the other badge if you want, I think. Okay, let's see which path. Because I bought them on Etsy this morning. <laughs> I can't. I have a joke. I can't. I have a joke. I mean, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you the joke later. Remind me later. It's not a good job. <laughs> uh, let me just say, we learned a lot about Founding Fathers on Independence Day. <laughs> um, I need to take the least combat path. I don't really care too much about resources right now. Either way, I have one combat room. I'm gonna go this path away, get a relic and a uh, a gift. The Eye of the Ice Gore, orbiting eyes that freeze enemies on contact. I don't think we've seen this boss yet. Hmm. Hopefully they're not too bad. Oh, I could just hit it. I forgot. <laughs> Merciless Axe 20. Chance to deal a crit. Increased damage? I'll take it. Come on! Such BS. Uh, that axe 
Max has no merit to it. I don't have a lot of health right now. This is not looking good. Oh yeah, this axe can deal a crit. <laughs> I ran right into it. I'm so silly. Oh my god, same thing every time, and I fall for it. It is so unfair. Increases chance to spawn better chests or 10% chance to deal a crit. I already have the 10% chance of a crit. So let's do better chests, why not? 10% chance of getting a blue heart or dead enemy bodies explode. I'll do the blue heart. I just have to remember the moment I walk into the boss room I should use my relic. The relic I have is floating eyeballs that freeze the enemies. Okay, I honestly really like the tentacle relic or curse. Not for any nefarious reason, I just think it's very um, versatile. Right here. I only have five hearts. That is not good. Do you guys think I'll beat it? Go Gamba. Maybe, maybe I can. Surely I will. Like, 
he's gonna be mad. I'm tanking. I'm gonna give a book. I'm tanking. I'm tanking. That seemed way too easy. That was way too easy. I remember finding him initially, and that fight was also very easy. Because since he was very long, his hitbox was very... big. <laughs> but that was weird how he split up. Anyway, easy! That's two down and so cradle. Two more to go. I wanna try and beat him today. We got about 20 ish minutes. Yeah, if I can do two more 15 minute runs, then I can do this. Because that was my goal today. Does anybody want to join my cult? Use your channel points. Oh my god, so many people are dead. Uh, Mark, so many people that I'm mad that I looted a corpse. They're dead. They're not going to care anyway. And they love their... Devoted leaders so much, they would not mind if I took their little necklace back. I believe in re-gifting. Oh, Hecate is dissenting. Again? They must really hate me or something. Where you need to go to jail. <laughs> where you belong, scum. For betraying the cult. It needs to be done. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's more dead people. Oh. <laughs> Oopsie. Damn, I only have 16 followers. We lost five people. Man, this graveyard is looking full. For another run. Do you think I will take damage? Will I successfully be able to do a damageless run today, Gogamba? I think I can do it. already ruined. I think that we've done damageless runs on Dark Souls. Which is insanity to me. slightly new mechanic is that cocoons spawn partially through like a little bit after you enter the room because before those cocoon things only spawn at the very start and now they're spawning throughout okay galliver's charm increase in size be tall.
the sound of the ghost spawning, I don't like it. It's really breathy. Oh, come on! That was my fault, I got too close. Okay, I'm gonna go down this center path. Because all the other paths had two combat pat had two combat rooms. Forty dollars, that's a steal. sub i appreciate that thank you thank you can we get some <laughs> monies and shit thank you for the prime thank you if you follow you can type in chat too hun but thank you i'll take the money i'm a brokey even though i have two Two laptops, I'm a brokey. This game is so cute. I know, it's one of my favorites. Um, if you use your channel points, if you have enough channel points, it'll make a character after you. But welcome in. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Can we get some yo's, everybody? New chatter. Got it, boss. Do you want me to call you Max? Wait, I just realized this is mania. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I might get in trouble if I call you mania. <laughs> if you call me Max, cool. <laughs> Welcome in. Feel free to chat, lurk, whatever makes you happy. I did not know you'd actually watch. Wait, do you know? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> do you know this person? Uh oh. I think so. Drama? No, it's not that it's bad. Not that's awkward? Yeah, I think that'd be the worst outcome. We do know each other? <gasps> well, welcome in, Kobo, but word of mouth actually worked. But hello. What? They recommended you? That's great! Nice, plus one. <laughs> okay, Max, you, you need to follow the channel, though. <laughs> If you unsubscribe in the future and then don't follow, you won't be able to chat. <laughs> thank you for following! <laughs> Sorry, thank you! <laughs> it's just, because I'm in a uh, 10 minute follow chat, so if you don't follow, you can't chat. But you, you can skirt the line, you can cut the line by subbing. You don't know how Twitch works? That's okay! 
You know, we will educate you. I am taking so many L's. But I appreciate it. It's not often we get a person who subscribes first. <laughs> That's like a, a one in a million. But I appreciate it. Oh, uh, this is the normal schedule. Since you're new. Ske How do you spell schedule? There you go. Love to support small streamers. We love that. Even Okay. I'm a hypocrite because I don't watch many small streamers myself. And I don't know why. Okay, I kind of know why. It's because like I'm a chatter. I watched Twitch for like about a year-ish before I started streaming myself. And I very much like live content because you definitely get the interactive aspect of it. But <laughs> don't cancel me, Clippers. Well, you guys can't clip some only streams. Um, with a lot of smaller streamers, chats the chats aren't as active, and a lot of small streamers don't like enable like the third-party chat box functions, like the extensions. And I feel like extensions make or break your stream. Because, you know, I think chat is supposed to be fun. Like, I think it's because when I first started watching live content, I watched larger creators, so I kind of got used to that atmosphere. But the only, like, smaller streamers I watch are Emmy, Rainy, and then sometimes Scootish. Oh my god! This guy is huge! <laughs> Easy. It can be hard to interact with smaller chats too. Yeah. Um. Oh, where is this going? I'm gonna go back. Or no, I'm gonna keep going. Over the past almost two years that I've been streaming, my my chat is pretty good. In terms of like interactivity and how they interact. Ooh, orbiting eyes that poison enemies in contact. I like that. I love poisoning people. In game Twitch stuff. In game. Chat is so much fun. Yeah. I think it definitely depends on like what we do for stream. You've been doing this for a while? Yeah. My two year stream anniversary is August 2nd. Smile. <laughs> I mean, I watched back some of the old streams and they're so bad. But I. Whoa, where am I going? Oh, I need to go right. Because I feel like chat adds to the commentary. So if you're chat. Okay. August 2nd is your birthday? Ain't no way. That's like double dipping for that stream then. <laughs> That's cute. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, okay. <laughs> I have this clip that I'm debating if I want to post. Um, okay, I don't like any of these. Both of these are bad. <laughs> because... It's a clip of me saying, if you're not a funny chatter, leave. And I think it was a funny bit in the moment, but I don't think people would like it. Because for my clips channel, I usually clip things that I think are funny, but then I forget that not everybody thinks the same shit is funny. Like, there are some jokes that I think are good, but I won't repost in a clip. Because I feel like people online especially, like, I, I know I will do this at times too. Like, they will interpret things with the least charitability. So, like, I think that's why it's kind of good that I edit my own stuff for the most part. Because if, if I ever have a channel editor, which will happen, hopefully, within a year, that's my goal. Like, my only- He's gonna steal, he's gonna rob. Midas. 
cherished customer. What are the chances we'd run into each other again? I do admire how you don't care for appearances. <laughs> I, on the other hand, am respectable, elegant, and at all times beautiful. Now, I'll just take care of some business. Run away! Why am I living in a... He took 2700 I think he just takes away two-thirds of your money every fucking time. I didn't know I could hit him. Can I do it again? Okay, every time I hit him, I get $20. Now, all I need to do is hit him a hundred times. Uh-oh. I'm gonna beat his ass. He took my money. I'm self-defending myself. He stole from me. He threatened me. He threatened my life. I can, um, self-defensive. I'm kidding. <laughs> I live in Washington. We don't have self-defense here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know you could hit him back. I mean, I only gained like a hundred bucks, which is nothing, because he took twenty-seven hundred. Scan. Anyway, uh, going back to what I was saying, the only thing I'm kind of scared of if I ever get an editor is they'll like keep a joke in that is kind of like bad or is like can be interpreted in a not so good way. But that's why I think. I know a couple people have suggested that I just get like fiber editors for like the clips channel or like for the regular long form YouTube. But the problem with getting editors who don't know you or your content is like they don't understand what I would appreciate to keep in an edit or what regular viewers would appreciate. Um, receive double the health when healing. Like I know even myself when I'm trimming down stuff for like a highlight video. I don't know what to keep in. Because, like, I just want to keep in everything. Because <laughs> all my jokes are funny. Obviously. If it's possible, it's always best to edit your own content. I agree with that fully. But there will come a point to where you... It's more valuable to put more time into actual... Creating and concept concepting out ideas than editing. I do think... Oh, wait. Um, when hit down to half a heart, all enemies will be dealt three damage or fire projectile when you swing your weapon. Five second cooldown. Since I have a gauntlet, I'm going to do the projectile. I know when I started... Because I streamed for six months and then I started editing like clips for TikTok and YouTube. I found that once I started editing down my streams, I figured out what type of jokes and commentary I liked to keep into like a potential final edit. And then I found that my commentary during the actual streams got better. So I think if you're just starting out, you, you have to edit your own shit. You can't be lazy and just click go live. I'm putting my hair up. It's been two hours. Oh wait, it's been three hours. I gotta run an ad. Get boomed, everybody. Oh, also, uh, Max, you should have emotes, so have fun with them in the chat. The environmental traps cause no, no damage or overall weapon damage increased by 1.2. I'm gonna do environmental traps cause no damage. You still run ads on sub only? Yeah. I do. I mean, it's mainly because if anybody does have like the because if you're a non-sub and you click on a sub-only stream, you can watch for, like, a few minutes. So that way, if I run an ad, maybe they will subscribe. Which doesn't happen. <laughs> it doesn't happen. Oh, wait, no. I think there was one... I think Kimari and then also Ryan was sub during a sub-only stream of the past. Okay, I don't want the hammer, but I'll take the ten of those. Also, like, I don't know if I have to run ads on Saboli streams. I I would think you would still need to because 
if you have like because i manually run my ads so like i i have to click run an ad but for other channels they have automated ads so they i think they would still run okay this run was all right but let's see how it goes do you think I will beat the boss on this attempt? Go Gamba, go Gamba. Do you think it'll happen? Maybe, surely. Everybody go Gamba. And I know, Max, you said you're new, so this explains how predictions work. Did I spell channel points wrong? Whatever. <laughs> Did I actually... I better see 100% and believe, guys. Yeah, channel points. I spelled that right, right? Channel points. Yeah, I spelled channel points right, whatever. Is your TikTok the same as your Twitch? Um, go find out. No. <laughs> um, no, not really. Because the type of vibe I have for my TikTok clips is usually me. Oh, wait, new boss. Chorus version 2. He looks scary. Oh no! Oh no. Kill him, kill him. Easy. Oh, is my username the same? No. I have several accounts on TikTok. Um, the one I try to plug is my Clips account, because that is the most clouded. Um, you- in- on every single video on the Clips account, I tag my other two accounts. So. Yeah, the Clips account is good because I feel like the type of clips I post, you get a lot of insight into, like, my psyche. And my morality. And what type of food I like. Let's see. Did I beat the boss? Yes, sir. Screw the doubters. Did, did you guys forget that I'm playing on easy mode? Like, genuinely. Did you guys forget? I hit my foot on my chair. One more boss left. What time is it? It's 2.15. I can keep going for a little bit longer. Thank you, I'm glad you like my art, Max. Thank you. I can maybe go for 30 more minutes. Because I have a friend coming over and then a big business meeting with Emmy later. We're gonna make big business deals. I'm gonna ask her for a small loan of a million dollars. Dude, imagine having generational wealth. I, I can't. I can't imagine. is now one of the good ones. I just 
just thought of something funny. <laughs> Sorry. I can't say it. Unless... No. I'm just thinking back to yesterday. Like, we, we played Mario Kart, right? And... I genuinely feel like I remember most of my viewers, and I don't know if that's like a bad thing or not. Because... I remember Vengeance was saying, I hope you like this track more than you did Peach Gardens. And then I was like, yeah, I remember shitting on it. <laughs> and he was like, really? I'm like, yeah. I mean, it's like, the way you see stream is that, to me, it feels like a Discord group chat. Like, you're just chatting with people, making jokes. And I remember most of the things we talked about. Why would that be a bad thing? Well, the, the problem is... <laughs> I don't want to get too attached. That's why I don't have a Discord server, because I don't want... Like, I know people enjoy the streams, but I don't want to feel like I need that engagement between regular viewers. I think it's just because, in general, like, in my real life, too, when it comes to, like, friendships, I remember a lot about my friends. Like, if they tell me, like, a little detail, then I will remember it. So, don't ever be telling me secrets. I will use it against you one day. Oh no, Wolf has died! During their summer vacation, how sad. I feel like I remember a lot of Shatters, too. Yeah. And that's fine. It's just, like, I don't want myself or a viewer to feel like they're entitled to each other's attention. That's also why I keep DMs closed for the most part. Wait, the other day, I got a DM on Instagram. I don't get DMs often, okay? I don't get DMs often. The only reason why I keep it open is so like, if um, a big company like Subway is like, hey, you wanna do a collab? And I'm like, sure. That'll never happen. But I got a cool DM. What did he say? I screenshotted it, but then I deleted it. Because I was like, why should I keep this? And it was from, like, a random ass account. They didn't follow me or anything. But they- I think they said not to be bold, but how are you not taken? <laughs> and it's just like... Okay. Thank you? I didn't say anything, I just deleted it. But it was funny. <laughs> She's like, okay, I did. And it was on my main Instagram account, which I haven't posted on in like a year. <laughs> Not to be bold, yeah, it was funny. And like, it was a guy, and it was like their music account. Like, it wasn't a personal account, it was them trying to like be a musician. And I'm just like, are they like for real, or are they just trying to smash anybody? Ooh, new relics! Yay! But whenever I get a DM, if it's like something like hitting on me, I delete it, right? But if it's like... I'm trying to think. Because usually I'll keep like requests in my DM requests. Like I only delete them if they're like bad or spam. That's so creepy. A little bit. Like, why, why was the guy DMing me on his, like, professional music account? Like, did he think he was on his main? Or does he only, like, harass women? I don't know. Appreciation versus hitting on someone are two very different things. Yes, I think that is a difference. Like, sometimes, like, I'll get replies to, like, my IG stories. I'm like, oh, that, that outfit is cute. Like, that is nice, you know? But, like... I've gotten a few weird ones. It, granted, it only happens like once every three months. Because, like, I don't. I don't market myself as, like, your online GF at all. Hi, Mac. Welcome back. Mac is back, everybody.
Favorite Nintendo game? Obviously Mario Kart, I play it every week. No, I really like Super Mario 3D World. I cannot wait for the new Mario game. I genuinely am so excited. Dude, when we watched the last Direct, I was pogging out of my mind. I miss Mario Galaxy streams? Well, I don't. I don't. I, it's just not my type of game, surprisingly. Oh, wait, no. Mario Odyssey was also pretty good. I liked Odyssey, but I feel like there was way too much to do in Odyssey. If they give us Mario Odyssey 2. Or Mario Kart 9. I feel like 3D World is kind of underrated. I do think Bowser's Fury was kind of mid. Like, Bowser's Fury just felt like a stupid-ass DLC. You still haven't finished Odyssey? Did you at least, like, save Peach? Oh, wait, was it Pauline at the end? Because I remember when I played Odyssey for stream, <laughs> it was so bad. It was actually so bad. Because I was attempting at a completionist run, like, getting all 999 moons. But what I did was, I titled my stream, every stream I did, was 999 moon run, day blank. And I had a bunch of people come into chat. This is when I was a 1v Randy, okay? 1v Randy. I had a lot of people coming into chat, they're like, Is this a real speed run? And I'm like, no. And then they would leave. <laughs> it's... My, my opinion is, I think you can, like, bait a little bit in your Twitch titles, okay? I think it's fine to do a little bit of baiting, but now I know not to bait in the speedrun categories because I feel like some people will get aggro about it. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Have I played Breath of the Wild? No, and I have no interest in playing it. My sister enjoys them though. It's just not my type of game. Open world's too much, because I feel like if I wanted to do shit in game, I could just do it in real life. Like, honestly. Yeah, the speedrun community does not mess around. That's why I don't fuck with them. Because I know, I think Mac, Mac is like, oh, you should try speedrunning. But it's like, I'm, I'm not good. I'm not good at games. I would be so bad. When is the chicken nugget stream? Um, soon. Soon. Because for the chicken nugget stream, it's either gonna be making the gravy volcano or ranking fast food chicken nuggets. Which I think, for a stream, I think it'd be funner to watch. Um, like me making the gravy volcano. And then for like a YouTube video breaking the chicken nuggets because then I can like film myself driving to the places wait what if I did it on a bike <laughs> wait I could I could rent one of those like bird scooters and it's just shots of me like holding bags and bags of food <laughs> that'd be funny that'd be such a hilarious shot though Or like, I get a bike and I get one of those wagons that you attach to the bikes and it's just filled with fast food bags. Wait, no. Never mind. <laughs> See, I have jokes, but then... Okay, I'll say the joke. Some only stream, no clippers. But the joke was gonna be, I would look like the people, like the unhoused people, but that's not nice. Could I pet the lamb? No! He's mine! I don't know. My, my town has, like, made an ordinance to where any person who's sleeping on the street, they, like, usurp them. I can't think of a better word, but they put them in, like, mandatory shelters, and I think it's unfair. I think it's sad. 
Like, even though Washington is fairly progressive in terms of, like, housing, it's still gonna take years of reform. To where homeless people are treated fairly. Like, even though Washington has, like, decent funding for those programs, it's still gonna take a while to build the infrastructure and, like, build the facilities and housing. Okay, what- oh wait, I should do- ooh, what time is it? I'll do one more one- one more one. One more run. One more run. Because the thing I don't like about the policies to where they, like, um... Where they put them in shelters mandatory at night is, like... I think a lot of people dehumanize the homeless people. Because... I understand the sentiment of you being scared of them, but they're still people. Like, most people are still kind. And I genuinely feel like the people who have faced the most hardship in life are the kindest people. I, I genuinely believe that. Because, like... If all the people who don't believe in housing reform, I feel like you should try and sleep outside one night. So you understand what it's like for that to be a reality for whoever knows how long. Like, I genuinely think that. Because I think a big issue with policy, it's people who aren't advocating for others don't understand that perspective. And I feel like if you don't understand that perspective, you need to experience it. I don't know, I'm a lib. No, I'm a progressive. <laughs> I don't want to be a lib. It's unfortunate that they're treated that way. It's normalized. Yes. Um, it's... It's, be, it's it's going back to the theme of otherism and classism. Everyone just assumes it's their fault. Exactly. Like, it's... <laughs> liberals go to shut up. We hate the libs. Shut up. We hate the libs. The lips are center right. You know this. We hate the lips. Everybody, give me money. Give me money. Peace and live from. No, I am not a lib. I am not a lib. One stream, I will do a, a political assignment stream, or quiz. I will do that for stream. I'm planning that one. That'd be funny if someone far right watched you. Didn't I say before you should watch people who don't necessarily align with you politically? That way you gain perspective. But... What if they're like a hate watcher? <laughs> okay. Because like, I don't necessarily present... I don't market myself as like a progressive, okay? Like I talk about progressive policy, but I don't I don't put in my bio that I'm a, a progressive, okay? Because I think what a lot of people fail to realize, because when you hear the word progressive, just the um like people assume progressive policy is communism when in actuality a lot of progressive policy prioritizes the actual people. Like, if people read progressive policy on paper, they'll like it. Like, the working class will like progressive policy. That's why I, I hate when, like, the Republicans say, Oh, we're pro-workers, but then all their policies are such anti-union. It's so dumb. And the people who are die-hard, who vote along party lines, don't realize it. Okay, let's go for a run. Not outside. <laughs> I hate... Trumpy, sorry if anybody in chat is one. Uh, be honest, did you guys vote for Trump type one? <laughs> Any Trumpies in chat? Give me one. <laughs> no, I think Trump used to be a Democrat. I do feel like Trump is a grifter for the Republican Party. Because previously he had a... Like, socially, a lot of his policies were Democratic, but still fiscally Republican. Like, I think Trump 
if he took a political aligning test, he would be a lib. He would be a liberal, which is center right still. Because I feel like the definition for a liberal has changed. I have voted for myself. Come on. You should have voted for your favorite streamer, Peace in 17. Oh, okay, actually, don't do that. Don't. I'm joking. Do not. <laughs> do not write me in. I'm not old enough. Okay, I got a dagger prediction. Do you think I'll get damage? Let's go, Gamba. Whatever. Peace for press. No, don't start this meta, please. Okay, you guys know in order to run for president, you need money. Which, even though I have two phones, two laptops, it costs a lot to run for president. Or any, even local office, it costs a lot. Yeah, Trump is a grifter. Because grifter by definition is someone who aligns with political parties and policies in order to gain profit or influence. He's a grifter. I can't use my sub to run for office, guys. For the subathon, the main goal will be running for president. <laughs> How many subs would we need? Okay, how much would a presidential campaign cost, like, genuinely? But it would be actually very bad if a streamer won presidency. The only president I want is XQC. debate oh my god i can't at least 350 you right wait new chatter welcome in can we get some yo's peace in simp i saw that username and it's funny who's yeah who, whose alt account is this can we get some yo's welcome in first time chat during sub only um if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns make sure to tell me that'd be so funny Like, you know what XQC does debates on stream, but it's him just not understanding an issue? <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm not a juicer, okay? I'm not a juicer. I do think the age to be a president should be lower. Like, I think 35 is too old. But I, I do agree that like once you're 35 you have enough lived experience. I just like debates because I feel like they're not made to be informative. Yeah, because debates is just meant to be like, ooh, sick oh a good dis. Ooh, I'm rich. Guys, I can buy another laptop. Like, debates is only to farm, like, clips. That's what it's for. Like, I remember when the Trump-Biden debate was on TV, like, I was- I was working at a pizza place at the time. And my coworkers are just, like, watching it in the back room, and they're like, Oh, Trump is saying some funny shit! <laughs> and it's just like, oh no... <laughs> debate with Emmy? I would destroy her! My friends know I'm a debate lord. I will back for stream. I will crush any argument. When I was in high school, you could only choose, like, a certain amount of electives. And for electives, it was either gonna be drawing, which I did, ceramics, 
Um, debate or choir? Those are my top four, but I did drawing. I couldn't do ceramics because ceramics was full. But if I would have taken debate in high school, I would be a... I would be a lib. <laughs> okay. Damned Laplace's die. 50% chance to gain a diseased heart or 50% chance to deal damage. Ooh. That's cool. When you became a lawyer? No, I don't... I don't think I could ever do, like formal law I would get too sad because to me if you're a lawyer you're like defending people who experienced unwarranted hardship I feel most of the time and I would get my emotions would get involved I'm too empathetic Dagger. Oh wait, I just realized I'm gonna go into the final fight with a fucking dagger. That's not good. It's fine, I, I can I can make it. I don't know how people hold back empathy. Okay, I legit think lawyers have to be like somewhat psychopathic. I would be so bad, I would flop, I wouldn't be able to defend myself. <laughs> That's why you hire people to do it. Okay, let's see. I thought I was further in this crusade than I was, but that was only the first section. And there's no path that gives me a new weapon? Okay, either way, I have at least one combat room. I think I'm gonna go the far left path. The way I can get a gift. Gotta go now, no problem! Thank you for hanging out today, Max. Thank you for the Prime sub as well, I appreciate it. We hope to see you again. And if we don't, I'm blaming Kobobo. I hope you had a good time. <laughs> Not blaming me. I will blame you. You're actually so cool, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I try. I try. I'm gonna go for the mystery. If it's a boss fight, I'm ending stream. I'm not even joking. Oh my god, I was kidding! I was kidding! Guys, I I'm ending stream. I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Why? I hate this. Why? Oh, that's so wrong. Why is it doing this? I was trying to do damage list. Not bad. Not bad for a dagger. Damn, it gave me so much health and I don't need I don't even need it. Easy. Guys, I'm cracked. Don't ask what the difficulty level is. Don't do it. I I still think it's hilarious to think like a rando comes in and they're like, she's so good at the game, but it's easy mode. nice. I appreciate you recommending my stream to your friends, Kobobo. That's really nice. Because honestly, word of mouth does do a lot. We were talking about earlier how it, its impact on like smaller businesses. 
Oh, I forgot that guy has projectiles. That is something that I do think is really cute, like watching like YouTube videos or streams with your friends. Like, my sister. Oh no, Ryan has died! Uh, Peace I 27 Ryan, guys. Um, like my sister, whenever my roommate comes home from work, they'll just watch YouTube for like two hours every day, and it's so cute. I don't like any of these. I'm gonna use my relic, because it might give me a diseased heart, I think. Oh, what, what did you do? <laughs> this is bad. No, I can't have it end here! I wish I could go back. Because after I defeated the boss, I got like five hearts. How do we only one heart left? I should have teleported. Damn, a nine minute run though? Oh, that's like PB pace. Um, Peace I to L. That was really good though. I couldn't change the weapon partially through though. If I had an axe, even a gauntlet, I could have done it. Damn, I wanted to do it first try. Okay, I, I have 15 minutes. Because I gotta get ready for my big business meeting. Are you selling a painting? Uh, no. <laughs> if I sell a painting right now! Nah. <laughs> nah, we, we just have to prep for a Sunday stream. Because since Emmy works at like an actual production company, she knows a lot more insight into like... I guess the prep process. You're prepping for the podcast? Yeah, why would we not prepare? Like, genuinely, why would you not prepare? No. Like, even when I do, like, my- my comedy streams, I usually make a brief outline of what, like, basic jokes I want to make. Oh, like, make it on the spot? Well, I don't know if I could ever do that. I feel like that'd be too stressful. And I feel like for a full, like, improv podcast, you would have to- like, either be used to podcasting yourself, or be very comfortable with the person. 
And especially since it's a stream broadcast, like... I feel like it's important to discuss prior, like, boundaries, what not to talk about, like, what jokes are fine to make, that type of thing. That That's what we're prepping. One more run. Dream ends when I beat Silk Cradle, guys. Not even joking, mods. Change the title. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. I mean, I didn't even see the final boss yet. That's what I'm scared of. Level 10 is the max villager you can make. Ooh. Not too bad. Does anybody want to join my cult? Use your channel points. Use your channel points if you want to join. Because I have so many followers to indoctrinate. Un indoctrinate? Okay, new prediction. Do you guys think I will do a damageless run? Go gamble. Surely! Even though last attempt was the only time I actually died. Do you think I'll do damage to this? If I get an axe, I bet you guys I will beat it this time. No joke. Fingers are not crossed. I bet... A million subs. Don't be an axe. Oh, okay. Bet is off. It was not an axe. Dude, the swords are so bad. I like how they handle, but the damage is pitiful. Oh, I didn't fall for it. I need to lower this guy down. There we go. Easy. Actually, navigated that really well. No believers? Come on, you guys are so mean. I'm not that bad. You guys saw how good I've been doing today. Like, I'm actually trash. My controller is really sweaty though. I just realized I've almost been playing for like three hours. Or four hours. Me and my busted ass pro controller.
Easy. Sister Chemex Madness was foreseen in the first turn of the cards, drawn by her own kin, as I have always done. Is destiny the grail which must be pursued, or the force which drives one onward? Come, let us draw once more. The first card, a beacon. The second, a shadow. The third, something lost or perchance taken. Card inverted, it must be sought. The cards speak, a relic calls, yours to seek and to claim. I don't get what his lore means. Okay, attack rate increased by 1.25, or when attack, 10% chance of negating damage. I'll do negating damage. I sh okay, attack rate is the speed. I don't really need that for the sword. Gain an extra half a heart and reveal the map. Revealing the map is literally D win. Oh, Mint has died! Oh no, he's like seven Mint. Issue with my pro controller, the B button is sticky. And that's why I started using the Joy Cons, but then the Joy Con I got drift. Okay, Eye of the Slither. Orbiting eyes that poison enemies. Very nice. I think it's also because on the pro controller you have to press the buttons harder, I think, for them to register. Or I could just be a huffing copium. section it feels so long okay i'm gonna find the shortest path okay either way it looks like you always have a guaranteed combat room yeah there's gonna be a combat room either way i think i'm going to do stone gift and then follower room because the follower room is only one room of enemies versus a whole crusade room or a crusade section which has like 10 rooms. So I'm gonna do this path. Cause I wanna get in, get out. Imagine there isn't a boss fight. There's gotta be. There's gotta be a final, final one. Nada. But I do think since the mechanic of... I don't know what the character's name because you guys made him, made me name him your mom. But the mechanic is giving them tears, so I don't think you would have to fight him if it's like a mechanic in the game where he gives you shit. He 
easy. sweaty I'm, I'm nervous I if I can do a full damageless run I, I did not say I would do anything though I didn't make any deals bodies explode damaging other enemies or a diseased heart i'll take a diseased heart damage the moment I see the little projectile things they psych me out oh I, I would have gotten it anyway this guy explodes damn These do the same damage. Chance to heal the wielder using the life force of a slain foe. I'll do the vampire hammer. I think since I'm almost at the boss room, using a hammer is probably better in the final fight anyway.
Damn, it's, it's so many rooms. Oh no! <laughs> you guys know what time it is. Do you think I will beat the final boss of Silk Cradle in my first attempt? Go gamble. Do you think I can do it? I have full health. I think... Oh, I have the Ikor curse. That's bad. But I do have a hammer and I have the poison eye relic. I'm just getting some bones. You know, I got a little... Oh no! I can- look, I can see the... It's gonna be so bad, I can't dodge. Okay. It's fine. Shamor. I will fight your ceaseless war. In this way shall purgatory draw semblance to life. I will fight your ceaseless war in this way shall I be punished. I forgot what this fight looks like. Okay, hammer's OP. Thank god I switched to the fucking hammer. Doing that with a sword would have been impossible. Dude, he looks cool. It looks like he has like dreadlocks. Ooh, three tears! I think once I beat this game for stream, I'm gonna replay it in like a harder difficulty. For sure. I know you still want to do the stream where I beat the one who waits at the hardest difficulty. I, th I think that would be funny. Oh! When you defeat the bishop, you get... Uh... An upgrade on the items, I didn't realize. Lore? <laughs> Repent, for the kingdom of the Lamb has arisen. Does that mean I win? Am I God? That can't be it. That can't be it. Can't be right. It does not matter that Calamor that it, it does not matter to Calamor that his ears were lost, for he was never inclined to listen. 
Foolish though he may have seemed, he wielded the power of his crown without discrimination. So, you have completed the task, Red Crown. The bishops are trapped no longer. What becomes of them now is not of my interest, though. What becomes of yourself? Many a deity I have bartered with. Their designs once. Or their designs... Their designs ones I have seen repeated through the millennia. Your designs, however, very interesting. As such, I offer you a boon, a cementing of our new undertaking. This shrine is carved in the likeness of a god with whom I once bargained. May it remind you of the role which you must fill now. Ooh, the one who waits trophy. Cool. Infant God, by your influence this land is changing, tis true. The laws of this world, and even of the next, have become malleable. Yet the either, having flowed in one fashion for many an age, shall not be diverted so easily. That which seems still runs deep. There is much yet to uncover. God, tears remain. Do not allow complacency to, not allow complacency to take root. Yet, you have shown yourself to be a worthy deity. Take your rightful place amongst the pa pantheon, as you have earned. All hail the Lamb. All hail the God of Death. Ooh, a new cloak! When resurrecting, gain two diseased hearts. Imagine it just deletes my save. Oh. Thank you for playing Noble Disciple. Please spread the good word near and far so that others may be blessed by the divine teachings of the mighty Lamb. Dude, I did it! Finally! Almost. Wait, when was my birthday? Three months? Holy shit. <laughs> I beat the DLC, finally! I'm surprised there was no final big fight. I mean... There was a lot of new content in the DLC. There was the relics. There was the revamping of the individual heretics. There was new bases within the camp you could build. There's also slightly different mechanics in the actual terrains and enemies. I feel like the DLC added a lot. And that's it. That's... Cult of the Lamb, everybody. Damn, it's finally over. We can go back to playing Stardew Valley now. Jeez. Okay, I did not lie. The title I actually built so a beat silk cradle today. I would never lie. Okay, everybody. I gotta wrap up because I have a big business meeting at four. But do not worry. Stream isn't over yet. We did get a sub, so we do get to do our calligraphy journal. If you donate to the channel or use your channel points, I will write your name. Oh, Kobobo, I didn't add you to the cult. Um, I will refund your points. I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, let's see. So, I don't know if I will play Cult of the Land for stream since I beat the main story of the DLC. So, I think for now, we will go back to Stardew Valley. I'm just getting some music on. We'll do Stardew Valley, and then playing with viewer games. So, right now we have Mario Kart, Mario Party, maybe Uno. I think Uno would be kind of fun. So, sub only streams will remain on Fridays, but like I said... As I said last time, they'll be more so in the evening. So, they would start between 2 and 4 p.m. PST. That way more people can play. So, if you want me to write your name, all you need to do is use your channel points, or donate to the channel. 
My stomach is grumbling. It's fine, though. Look how big this pimple is. It's horrible. But see, my thing is, even if you wear makeup, you would still see that they have a huge bump on their nose. So I think it's kind of pointless. Okay, let's see what chat color Max was. Wait, Cole Bobo, are you still in chat? Is their name actually Max? Because <laughs> whenever I see usernames that are just like letters thrown together sometimes, I get scared that it's like a bad word. Once again, thank you, Max or Mania, for the sub with Prime plus one. No chatter, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. And then we had one person use their channel points. So last call. If you want me to write your name, all you need to do is donate or use your channel points. Let's do indigo. Let's go. You guys got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and we're done. We're done. Guys, 
I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters, lurkers? Once again, thank you to Max for subscribing with Prime Easy. Um, so I will be live again on this channel on Tuesday, probably with Mario Kart. I think next week we're gonna rank all of the Mario Kart tracks or stream and when I get first in every track. We'll see, we'll see. So gentle reminder, but I'll be live again on this channel on Tuesday. I will be live on Emmy Beef's channel, so twitch.tv slash Emmy Beef. I'll be live for her podcast this Sunday at 5 p.m. So make sure click the link in chat. Follow her channel, that way you can type in her chat. Day of. Um, I know most of you guys are subs, but if you're new here, follow the channel. If you're watching a sub only stream and you aren't following, follow and sub. Easy. That way you can play next time. Fuck you! <laughs> Screw you! Teehee! I'm gonna have less time to prepare for my business meeting now. I'll gift you a sub back? Yeah, oh, I gift you a Yeah, because since I got my Twitch payout early, because I said I would be able to gift chat subs again next week, but since it processed early, I can afford to gift subs today. There we go. Okay, now we're done. We're done now. Dude, look, look at this stinker. It's huge. Oh my god. Anyway, guys, if you are thirsty for more peace and 70 content, go subscribe to my YouTube channels. I have the main channel and the clips channel. New main channel video out today. Go like it, go subscribe. Weekly stream highlights will be coming out along with full gameplays. Game walkthrough playthroughs. Okay. I'm gonna go eat lunch now because it's past my lunch time. So thank you all for hanging out. Thank you for chatting, Lurker. I had fun today. I finally beat the Cult of the Lamb DLC. It took three months. But it's whatever. Okay, I'll see you guys Tuesday for here and then Sunday on Emmy's channel. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Let's get some more hype music on. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, bye guys. I'm gonna go eat. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.